Hey everyone, welcome to the David and David Pick'em Show, uh, the only uh, sports show in uh, Georgia where two Davids pick the games. Uh, my name is David Roberts. My name is David Almeida. Did you enjoy your week off, David? I enjoyed it very much. It was well, very great. Brian Pagley have filled in admirably he for did. you, but welcome back. Thank and, you. Uh, we're going to get into region play. Uh, a couple of teams, Denmark Pine Pinecrest, have already started region play, but uh, this starts uh, the, the rest of Forsyth County teams, mm -hmm. and uh, we're going to get started with North and Central, which is uh, one that we disagree with. Very contentious. So, <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, Central, they've looked impressive on offense, you know, the whole, whole year so far. The um, only thing for me is, you know, they played, not, they, they played, you know, Clarkston, they played some teams that aren't exactly top notch teams. Um, now, being, you know, North, I, I feel like North kind of has the advantage. I, I mean, I, I think North has the, the offense, and they have the, you know, the running game, they have, you know, the um, they got some good defense play. They got Jack Tucker and you know Jamel Lewis who leads the yeah. area and in interceptions. I mean, yeah. um, so I mean, maybe it's a close one. We don't know, but I, I, I like North. I like North in this I, one. I like North. <laughs> You've been telling me all week. <laughs> and you know I like Central. Um, Central's played the schedule they uh, they created in the offseason. You can't fault them for that. Clark Clarkson's down, Lakeside's down, sure, but uh, they've taken care of business. 49-6 uh, against Lakeside, 49 nothing against Clarkson. Uh, now, we know those aren't two great teams, mm -hmm. but, you know, they play the schedule that, ha that they have. Uh, Branton Landreth, you know about him, 415 mm -hmm. yards rushing, five touchdowns. Uh, and Central also has 33 tackles for loss this season, which uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure leads the area. Uh, they, they've been really good on defense. Yeah, Alex, yeah. Alex Sackis, uh -huh. you, know, you can't spell exactly, uh, yeah, no. Sackis uh, Sacks. It's a good name, yeah. yeah four, I mean, four sacks, five tackles for loss. Yeah, I mean, they have a good defense. It's just a matter of, you know, can they keep that up against teams that are, you know, a little bit more, you know, like like you know, like North or any other team in the region that yeah. you know, that's probably going to be a little bit more competitive than that. But we'll see. We're going to find out. Yeah, uh, that'll be a close one. Uh, I think that's one thing that we we can both agree on. Mm -hmm. uh, next one is uh, Lambert and South, which uh, might not be as close. Yeah, um, I mean, you know, you talk about Lambert. and Lambert's had a pretty rough season so far. I mean, yeah. still yet to win a game. Uh, I was at the Hillgrove South game. That game, the score doesn't really indicate how that game was. It was pretty close till the halftime when. Uh, um, they brought back the, yeah. the, the 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 field goal for a touchdown, and after that, it was just kind of not the same. After that, so I mean, you know, South's got the weapons thing. They got all they got that passing game. Um, they got pretty good defense as well with Jacks Weaver and like, Colby Cruz. Even yeah. it, it does some pretty good things through there too. So I mean, I, mean, I, I like I like South. So yeah, yeah. Um, uh, Lambert, I think that's 11 straight going back to, to last season. So they're in desperate need of a of a win going into region play. Uh, I don't know if they'll get it against South. Uh, I'm going to take the Warrior Eagles here. Three and two, uh, those two losses, uh, Bless Cherry and Hellgirl, two very good teams. Uh, and uh, I think, you know, Lambert's Achilles heel this season has been, you know, uh, their defense. Mm -hmm. It seems like giving up a big play. Uh, I think uh, every single team they've played scored at least 42 points against them. And uh, that really uh, is a matchup disaster. Yeah, for, not going to win many games doing that. <laughs> yeah, yeah and especially against the South team that uh, two, uh, the top three wide receivers, we talk about them a lot. Uh, they got 1,300 yards uh, so far this season and 12 touchdowns. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I think they, they're in line for a big day against Lambert. Mm -hmm. uh, Lambert does have a standout wide receiver themselves, uh, Kojo Antwi. Yeah. Uh, 23 receptions, 323 yards, and a pair of touchdowns. Only a sophomore. So, yeah, definitely, uh, definitely one of their bright spots this year, though. Very bright spot for them. Uh, and then we got Milton. Uh, we don't know much about Milton. And then, again, we don't know about a lot about West. Yeah, I mean, West, I mean, we talk about, you know, I, I kind of talked about Central and how their schedule maybe wasn't the strongest, yeah. but Wes is op the exact opposite. Right. Wes has had just a grueling schedule and they came out of it you know, with, with, with a win, yeah. but I mean, um, just one win, but I mean, we'll get, we're going to kind of see where Milton is, yeah. um, coached by former West coach Adam Clack. That's right. Um, but, you know, we got to, um, but, but West, we're going to kind of see where they're at, maybe a little bit more going against a team like that. Um, um, I do have Milton though. I, I think yeah. I think Milton's gonna take that take that though. Um, I you know they've lost stuff. They lost like, their quarterback from last year from their uh, state championship. Yeah. But I think they still have enough players to kind of to kind of hang though. So I, 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 I got Milton. Yeah, so. kind of a deja vu all over again for, for yeah. West. You know, you got Drew Southern stepping in at quarterback. Yeah. Uh, starting uh, against Milton uh, seems to be what happened last year too. And uh, he's still gonna play safety too. So he's gonna yeah. be playing both ways for West. Uh, West, uh, Eli Orr, you know, we know about him, linebacker, he's among the, the leaders and tacklers in the county with uh, 47. Uh, and Milton, we talked about them trying to replace what they had last year. They played two quarterbacks, a senior and a sophomore. So uh, they're, they're going to, West's going to get a, a look at both of those guys. Mm -hmm. And uh, they, they've uh, really found their, their niche in running the ball, mm -hmm. uh, it seems. Uh, Milton, uh, nearly a thousand yards so far this season. So uh, that's, that's going to be key is to, you know, stopping their ground game, making them go through the mm -hmm. air, obviously. 
Um, they lost 16 and 7 to Parkview, uh, mm -hmm. and we know Parkview is one of the top teams in the state. Mm -hmm. So uh, we don't know a lot about Milton, but we're going to find right. out on Friday for sure. Uh, for the record, let's go with Milton. Yeah, Milton. Yeah, I got Milton yeah, okay. in that one. Um, Pinecrest and Mountain Pisgah. Yeah, I mean, it, they're, 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 I mean, it doesn't look like Mount Pisgah is very strong this year either. Yeah. Um, I know, but Pinecrest has had a kind of a kind of a lean year this year. They kind of had a, had a rough, little bit of a rough year with you know the injuries and you know, yeah. you know you know numbers and things like that. Um, it, it's an away game. It's Johns Creek. It's not that far away, really. Yeah. Um, I I'm just gonna keep picking Pinecrest till they get it, man. Keep doing I mean, it. I mean, <laughs> I, mean, I, mean I, I got I got Pinecrest this week. I think this is the week. This is the one they got. This is the one they got. So. This is the week to prove David Almeida right, Paladins. Do it. Uh, <laughs> Pinecrest 0 and 5. Mount Pisgah 1 and 5. Uh, one thing that Pinecrest can take away from their game uh, last week in Mountain Sales, uh, they outscored them 21-14 uh, in the second half. So it was a very strong second half for them. Maybe that can give them a little momentum going into mm -hmm. uh, this week's game against Mount Pisgah. Uh, it was a 50-21 loss. Ultimately, a uh, very tough matchup against Mount Sales. Uh, the quarterback's committed to Indiana, so uh, he's a game uh, changer. Uh, this was a 21-10 uh, loss for Mount Pisgah last year. So Pinecrest yeah. uh, knows what it takes to knock off this team. Uh, just for the sake of argument, I'm going to go with uh, Mount Pisgah in this right. one, uh, just to you know stir the pot a little bit. Sure. Uh, which uh, brings us to our uh, game of the week. We got yeah. Denmark going to Blessed Trinity. And it's, this is the game that Denmark's I'm sure had on their calendar for a long time. They, this is where the, where it starts for them. You know, if you want to be one of the best in four, you got to be Blessed Trinity. You got to be Marist. You got to be those teams is where it begins. And um, you know, I know you saw Blessed Trinity against right. against South. Um, right. I mean. Only they have one loss this year, but it was against a pretty good team, though. Yeah. I mean, one of the top teams in 4A, um, Woodward Academy, I believe. Woodward, yep. Um, so, I mean, um, I, I know, you know, Denmark is, you know, Denmark, I mean, they, they've been pretty good all year. They, they've, yeah. done, they've, they've yet to lose a game. They've, you know, they've, they've looked strong. I mean, I, I think they have what it takes. Yeah. So, I think, I, I've got Denmark. I think, I think they're going to be able to do what it takes to knock off West Trinity and get yeah. their first win against the the first, you know, one of the biggest wins. This will be one of the biggest wins in school history, for sure. Probably the biggest. Pro say, pro probably the biggest. Except the first one, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is a Denmark team that got their fourth shutout of the season last uh, last week against West Hall, 49 nothing, And I uh, had the pleasure of covering that game. And uh, it uh, wasn't very close, uh, as the score indicates. Uh, we mentioned Blessed Trinity. 13-10 was the final score against Woodward Academy. Mm. Uh, and that's a, a matchup between two really, really good teams. Uh, but yeah, I, I saw um, Blessed Trinity against South, and uh, all all respect to Blessed Trinity, back-to-back -back state champs. I wasn't that impressed. Uh, South uh, was able to hang in there, and they, they could have won that game. A couple more things bounced their way. Uh, but a team like Denmark, who's really firing on all cylinders right now, Emmerich Laughlin, quarterback, uh, Xavier Capers, we know what he can do. Jordan Brunson's, I think, still averaging double digits uh, mm -hmm. per touch. Uh, I like Denmark in this one, and yeah. uh, Denmark gets a real big test next week. Uh, if they can pass this test, they get yeah. Marist, but they get yeah. Marist at home. Right. So uh, a very critical two weeks for Denmark, and you can bet they've uh, turned up the intensity at practice for sure. I'm sure. Uh, so that's our show. Yeah. Um, you can follow us along at uh, FCN Sports uh, on Twitter. Um, me personally at FCN David Roberts. And my Twitter handle is Dave underscore Almeta. And uh, as always, thank you for watching. Any uh, comments, concerns, drop them in the comment box. But uh, we'll see you next week. Thank <laughs> you.